We're going to focus on the design elements. If you're already a member of the Enjoying Our Community, please plan to join us every Friday. We have two painting sections together. And this YouTube channel is all about how to paint and draw with relaxation. If this is the first time here, please subscribe and turn on the notification. Looking at the reference and your design ideas, this, the whole thing can be looked like a triangle. This is kind of like coming over here. I can make this a little bit bigger, including the idea you had, I'm gonna come a little bit bigger over here, and I'm gonna have a little bit longer over here. So I we're going to make this shape look a little bit bigger, like that. Let's put that in here for now. Okay, like this, it's okay. And we can make changes, a little bit more changes later. So on the top over here, I'm gonna make something, change the angle. I'm gonna have it um, up like this angle, like that, coming up. Sometimes a good painting doesn't really need to be complicated. Coming over here and have, make this maybe come a little bit more this way, like that. And also the front over here, we're gonna have this moving, like the light, change the light, moving a little bit come to this way. So kind of bring the attention back to the house, like that. It's coming this way. I want it to be more curved line. Okay. Now this is the idea. And I'm gonna start painting this with the one inch flat brush. So we need to focus on the biggest value contrast first. The light is gonna be contained in this area. I'm gonna have a little bit red color connect with, with this a little blue color. So I'm gonna first, I'm gonna make the background over here with lots of water, but careful. This is the rooftop. And then the top over here can just like uh, very softly uh, disappear, it's okay. And the, the light color on the rooftop over here on the edge like this. And I'm going to remove that. We can do a, something a little bit different. Oh, I like that too. You see that? A little bit kind of fade away. So I'm gonna have a little bit more blue color. And now here you go. Now I'm gonna have this really soft and make sure this is dark enough. Okay, coming over here and have this interesting color coming over here, a little shape. But this is gonna be a little bit darker. So I'm gonna have a little bit water, blend this color in here a little bit, just use the side of the brush, you see that? The side of the brush like this. And coming over here a little bit softer. And I'm gonna have a little bit more uh, blue color on the top over here, you see this? I'm gonna have it even a little bit darker, okay? The paper I'm using for this painting is Artista Cold Press Watercolor Paper, 140 pound, 100% cotton. It actually work out pretty good. Now this is pretty wet, right? So I'm going to have this actually a little bit lighter on this side, like that. So make this the rooftop a little bit, a little bit less strong. And actually I'm gonna have a little bit red color to mix into here. So I'm gonna come back over here, go wet into wet. Now have the color like that. And coming over here, now I'm gonna to come to uh, the color on the front over here. We're gonna have some line, if it looks a little bit um, sharp, like over here maybe, and coming over here. But when you're coming to on this side, I'm gonna have a little bit softer, like it disappear. So allow the tension coming back over here and bring it back to the house, right? So I'm gonna have this a little bit blue color. I'm gonna put it over here like that. And some area pretty wet, you see those wet color. So stay with me for a minute and I can finish this step and show it to you. Very nice illusion. You got to have a nice value contrast. Okay, I'm taking a little bit more red shade blue color 
I think in the shadow of the snow, have a little bit more of that. The, I also like those texture coming, but right now I have to remove all the wet in my brush. I'm gonna actually move the color a little bit softer over here. You see that I need to make the color coming out like that. And I'm gonna bring this shape out a little bit. So because this brush is so big, so much natural hair in actually can very easy to lift up colors. That's why I like it. And careful, I don't want this to be straight. I want it to be a little bit curved cool like this. It's, look at the texture over here. It looks very interesting. I want to keep that texture. I also make this a little bit softer. Okay. Like this, nice. So you can see a little movement because the curved line like this. So I think this is the very good beginning, how you create the movement and the value contrast. And of course the design. So we don't want lots of the tension on the top over here. But when you come down over here, the edge a little bit sharper. When the edge is a little bit sharper, the contrast create the tension. Wandering around over here, now disappear, right? In that case, your eye is actually following the movement and coming back to the house. This is the movement we try to capture. So we really need a lot of things, like add a couple people, maybe a dog, uh, maybe a center with a ring there. You don't have to go that far. Sometimes simple is the better. Now I'm gonna paint it into the space of the wall, a little bit more brown color and maybe not really going as far as is red. So I'm gonna have the little yellow with the red and the blue color, and they're probably good enough. And, and some people are always asking how I'm gonna mix the color. Actually, mix the colors pretty easy. All we have is the three colors. You can play with alternate different variation. So I'm gonna paint this wall first. I may be paint this whole thing over here, like that, and I'm gonna Think about the edge. I'm gonna probably paint this same color all the way over here. So I use this to fine tune the edge and move it a little bit like this and coming over here and moving over here. I just really hope that uh, more members is gonna join us for the live interactive Friday. So watching video is not really the same as being here, right? It's just, it's not, it's totally different kind, different level of entertainment, a different level of uh, learning experience. So I'm gonna have this color. So this is pretty, pretty bright already. I'm gonna have this all the way coming down over here, like this. Here, you don't have to make it perfect, okay? But let's pay attention. Now it's the edge of the, the, the snow over here. I'm gonna move in it like this way and like that. And the reason I don't make lots of sharp edges because sharp edges could retain the tension. So I'm gonna just have some really soft uh, angle and moving it to like this. So now I just play the, place the, the color as is the foundation color. And on this side, I'm gonna add a little bit darker color and have just the red, and the brown color, that's what I'm using. It's a little bit cooler on this side and I'm gonna just add from here, have this coming here and wet into wet. And I'm gonna move it a little bit and I don't want it to be looks like a too straight either. I'm gonna coming down like this and you're gonna see, it's very simple. And actually most of the time is important is in your mind is not actually uh, in the details. And I'm gonna put a little dark color over here and maybe also use this and put a little color on the wall over here. It may not be a very good idea. So in that case, I'm gonna have a little red color, maybe add a little bit like this and if it become a little texture, that's totally okay. From the top to the bottom over here is the same color, right? So we need to divide the space. We get some inspiration from uh, the reference. So I'm gonna have a little bit color like this, a little bit color, 
I'm gonna from here coming up like this till the in this angle, like this, this angle, that's fine. I'm gonna have it coming up like this. So kind of divide the space, have a little different shape, right? Like this. Is that how easy by using a larger brush. Now come up over here, just use the corner of the brush. A very simple, just tap on it. And now the shape a little bit more interesting by divide it with two different tongs, right? Okay, now we're gonna let it dry. While we are doing that, I'm gonna soften the edge over here. So I'm gonna clean the brush, just let go of all the color. I'm gonna soften that a little bit over here, like that. Just a little bit softer, so remove the tension in here. That's fine. Uh, and I'm gonna put this brush down. I'm gonna have the calligraphy brush. I'm gonna show you how to add a little shape over here. You see a little shape over here? It will be look very interesting. Have a little blue color, a light blue color. What I'm gonna do, like I put a brush down because the brush here is very soft. You can do it like this. Put it over here and coming over here. You see that? And because the tip of the brush has has some a uh, little bit more colors, and the top over there have a little bit like a no color. You see that? It's very nice blending. And then you add another brush draw over here. Now soften it. Now it divide the shape into smaller shape. You see that? That's very easy and very interesting to do it, right? And then coming over here. I'm gonna also add a little bit shape over here. It's all because we need to wait it to dry. I'm gonna add a little shape over here coming up. And coming up over here like that. And the way that you move the brush also can generate different interest. And I'm gonna soften a little bit. I just move the brush like this. Now I have a flat brush. You see that, right? This is very, small flat brush. Now I'm gonna have it soften that on the other side. So generate a little bit interesting. Okay, this is good. Now we are going to do a little bit in here. And uh, now I'm gonna add a little bit uh, blue color and uh, get a little detail over here. Just a little bit like that, touch it. Just a little bit, okay? So have make a little bit dimension. A little bit interesting to look at in this space. Like that, this is good. And maybe over here we can add a little color, but not much. So I'm gonna use the flat brush. I'm gonna add a little bit shape, just a little bit very, very light, okay? Don't make it really, really dark. I'm gonna come over here, just the corner over here. Start moving. Now I see the problem. Now I create the shape, the white shape in between these two, right? Be a little careful. In that case, I'm gonna still keep a little bit suggestions of this, but I'm gonna immediately dismiss it from here. So still have a little interesting over there, but I don't want to enforce that Y shape. Okay, this is not the area I need to walk, watch out. But when you're painting, painting, and then you focus on, I'm gonna to try to make it look like a photograph. And instead, you are enforcing the wrong thing and making the design feel really, um, really are uh, odd, I would say. I'm not sure it's odd, it's the right, right word. And now I'm gonna actually let go a little bit more over here. Just have a little bit suggestion and that's good enough. I think mostly it's just already good on the outside. So I'm also gonna soften this a little bit. This a little bit over here. I'm really happy with, I'm really happy with the the way it turned out is the whole design it by by return the attention back to the house area. So sometimes like uh you don't have to have a lot of detail over here. Uh now also I want to softly uh have this color fade into the background. So you got to use also a big enough brush, also soft enough brush. If you had the brush a little bit too stiff are too hot, you can scrap off uh, the color underneath. So you have to have a bigger brush plus a soft brush. It's very crucial for, for the way that we're doing paintings. Now let's come to add the details and I'm gonna have some pretty dark color. 
and coming look at in here. I'm gonna draw the line like every time when you are adding another layer of even the same colors, it actually make it look darker. And I'm gonna coming down over here a little bit like that, and I'm gonna draw a little line over here, and then leave that as a little bit wood over here like this. And here you go. Now I'm gonna have the suggestions for the side over here by painting into the outside shape. And over here, I'm gonna put this a little bit darker too, right over there, like that. So the edge over here is done. I have a, still a little bit wet, but it's okay, like that. And, and now take a look at under here, that looks like there is something else over here. It looks like the window or something. I'm going to make this to be the window. How about that? I'm going to have a vertical line coming like it. And a little bit like this. Okay, make it something to look at. Okay, here you go. Like that. And then we're going to have a little bit uh, warmer color uh, for the other window. It's just a little bit yellow, so it make it a little bit brown. Here you go. Now I'm gonna have this window vertical down, and this angle, and like this, and coming down over here. Here you go. Now we have something to look at, make it look interesting. And the top over there, we do are gonna have a little bit brown color underneath this, like that, and make it, it will make that wood stand out a little bit more, like that. And we are going to have a little bit, very small line, like a sharpen this calligraphy brush, and I'm gonna have a few lines coming down like this. A few lines, you don't have to do it like too many, like that. So I have something look interesting to look at, like look like the wall over here, I have something like that. And a few lines over here too. Now the painting is finished.